He went from America's hard land to American Idol. Omaha native Tim Halperin burst onto the national season, scene rather on season 10 of the competition show. His debut full-length album, Rise and Fall, was a big success on iTunes and received critical acclaim. Now something new. Tuesday, Tim's new album, Heart Tells Your Head, will be available. And he joins us now via Skype to tell us about it. Hi, Tim. It's always a pleasure to have you on the Morning Blend. Always. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, where are you right now? Uh, I'm currently in my day place in Knoxville, Tennessee. Great. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, it's like TV going on right now. So it's an exciting time for you as fans are placing pre-orders. I've seen a number of them tweeting you to let you know about that. Describe the new album. Yeah, uh, yeah so it's, it's right now it's uh, definitely exciting. I'm really anxious at this point because I'm just ready to, to get this thing like showing your your newborn baby off to the world is really uh, the deal there. But but this album I'm really excited about because I just I, I haven't changed up drastically what I do um, as a writer as a performer. But on this album I just feel like the songs are the best that I've ever written. Wow. Uh, so that you know having having that said, um, I'm just ready for people to hear them, and um, my hope is that people connect with the songs. Um, like I have on a personal level, um, and just writing this album has been a joy, and so now I'm ready for the people to hear it. Well, that's unusual to hear an artist kind of compare and say this is even better than the last because then you're setting our expectations in a way. How do you expect this to be received compared to Rise and Fall? I alluded to the success of that album a, mi a minute ago. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I think this one will be received really well. Um, I think Rise and Fall, a great album incredibly proud of that and um, I think in taking the first step and putting that album out was um, was incredible and I, and I think this album uh, the element that people really liked about Rise and Fall was that the songs were incredibly real and raw mm -hmm. and emotion was there and that's why people connected and I think on this album that's going to happen even more I think yeah. that the, the, the emotion is even more so raw I think the songs are um, are just as catchy, but uh, also have this element of, of just authenticity um, and that people are going to love. Where does that come from for you as a songwriter? I mean, you were born and raised in Omaha. You have wonderful, loving parents. And so I guess people say, we've got to have a lot of bad stuff happen to you in order to write a good song. Is that true for you? Um, yeah, I've become a masochist. Yeah, I just really <laughs> love in inflicting pain on my No, uh, I don't think that's the case at all. I um, there, there are some wonderful, happy love songs um, on this album. There are some, um, there's some inspiring, you know, an anthemic song called "Cross That Line." There's a lullaby for my niece, there's Sophie. Yeah. Um, but there are, yeah, there, there are some songs about pain. There are some songs about suffering. And um, you know, just come from my life, or, or I'm able to, uh, to sort of uh, extrapolate or um, emphasize things that happen, if you will. Or they come from people around me. Um, there's a song called Hey 17, it's the fifth track on the album, which is about a kid I met at camp this last summer who, at 17 years old, had just been through the ringer. And uh, there's actually a rapper featured on that track, which is new for me. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's just, it comes from either my life or the people around me. It, mm -hmm. um, I think everyone can relate to uh, those situations. Yeah, I want to spend a minute, if you don't mind, talking about Idol. I don't know if you saw the Omaha auditions, which aired not too long ago, and there was one woman in particular, Paula Hunt. Did you see her? I actually didn't. I saw the first uh, the first hour of the Omaha auditions. I didn't see the second hour, though. Yeah. So that, that may be interesting. Well, not that anyone will ever replace you, but this gal is from Bellevue, and she's pretty special. So if you get a chance to look her up, I think you'd be really proud to know that she's from the area, too. Um, so where can, our viewers, yeah. where can our viewers get your album? What's the best way to do it? Um, people can check out my album on iTunes. So it can be on me. Um, and then you can get on iTunes there. And then eventually it will also be available on Amazon and Spotify uh, and my website as well. Yeah, a lot of updates there on your website, Tim. Thank you. And please let us know the next time you're home. We'd love to have you here in the studio again. Thanks so much. Enjoyed being on the show. Take care. Thank you. You too. Mike.